So welcome everyone to Healthcare Entrepreneurship, a practical experience with Demonostic, Dermatologist via app. And I'm very happy to present you in the next um, 10 minutes what we made and how we became a healthcare entrepreneurship. Just some sentences about me. My name is Dr. Alice Martin. I'm a physician and that's not quite typical for entrepreneurship, but I think very typical for healthcare entrepreneurship when you are in a team where you need a physician. Um, when I started to study medicine, I was on my conservative way. I did not know that I will become an entrepreneur. And I founded um, Medilog in in 2018. It's a medical academy for physicians in different languages with Estefania Lang, who is a dermatologist as well. And in 2019, we founded our second company, Demonostic, Dermatologist via app with our husbands. So I think um, this is something very special about our constellation. Nowadays, I'm working as a CEO for Medilog in and as the COO for Demonostic in Düsseldorf. And uh, I'm also very happy in May, um, we will publish two books that I uh, am very happy to um, communicate about different diseases and dermatology. So now we are looking on the health care of our present and also of our future. And on the left hand side, you can see a physician and a patient. And the patient is lying down, the physician is writing something in his book. And this is very typical because he needs the information. But I think this is the most important thing because information can be also transferred in a digital way. And if we are looking to the second picture on the right hand side, you can see that there are three different doctors and nurses and in the middle there is the laptop or a computer. And the patient will be transferred from the physician way to a digital way. I think this is something very special and this is what our future healthcare will be most important about so that we can like not be present, not be on the same time, but still get the information and make the treatment. This way is limited because of course we cannot operate someone in a digital way. We cannot take blood in a digital way, but we can teach the patient how he is taking blood himself and this is already present. For example, you are getting a kit to your home and then you are taking the blood. So it's about mindset, switch to, to think in a different way. And now it's about healthcare entrepreneurship. What is so important about that? We are having here a very, very big bond between entrepreneurship and healthcare that's becoming stronger. Meaning before it was not typical to be in healthcare entrepreneurship, but we see we really need that. It's helping our healthcare system to move forward. And this is why in the last years, it was like a boom. Uh, someone told me it's so special to see that in such a conservative branch, nowadays, so much change is normal. We want to change the healthcare and it's only possible by healthcare entrepreneurship because we need that mindset of the entrepreneur. And what is so special? Why is healthcare entrepreneurship today so important? We are having different possibilities for the technology. And of course, marketing is the key. For example, as a phys physician, I'm not allowed to make marketing. So this is the law. But if you are having an entrepreneurship, a healthcare entrepreneurship mission, if you're having a company, then it's possible. And it's so important for the patient to get to know about different possibilities in healthcare. The another thing is, of course, we are having a very small age of business. If we are looking back in the last 10 years, we had this technology group. And in the last two or three years, we have had so many um, healthcare entrepreneurship um, people who had the mission. And it's quite mm, only a few years if you are thinking about how many experience years you are having in, in other branches. And you are also having here new payment methods that patients were not familiar about. Patients are getting a healthcare insurance, a private or a general one. So they are not familiar with paying for their healthcare. And today 
we are getting like a channel switch. They are understanding it's possible to pay via PayPal or credit card to get uh, something in healthcare special that I cannot get on my doctor when I'm going to. And I think the most important thing about healthcare entrepreneurship is data protection. Because of course, in every company you are having healthcare data, uh, you're having data, but in healthcare data, it's like in law, you have to protect them in a special way. And it's something very private. For me, it's not a problem if you know uh, what lipstick I am buying or what clothes I am buying. But if I'm talking about my diseases, this is very private. And if you are having um, a healthcare company, then you have to take care because this can really change everything. If you do not have a good data protection, you are not allowed to go to the market. And if something's going wrong, then you are losing your whole trust. So that's why data protection is a key in the whole healthcare entrepreneurship. In our case, why did we found it Demonostic? When you're having a skin problem, you can see on your skin, okay, there is something. I want the treatment now, but you have to make the appointment, for example, via telephone. You have to wait for a long time in Düsseldorf, uh, it's 38 days, sometimes it's more. Then you have to go with your car or train to the physician. When you are there, you still have to wait. And afterwards, you are getting the treatment and your prescription and you can go to the pharmacy. So you see, it's a very long process. You see your skin problem and you want to treat it in that moment and not in one month or in two months. And this is how Demonostic works. You see your problem, you can take pictures of that, you're sending it to our physicians who are only working for us and they are making the whole treatment, a doctor's letter, a diagnosis and a prescription. And the whole process is taking only three minutes and you are getting a response within 24 hours. We are promising within 24 hours, but it's normally less than four hours. And afterwards you can just send your medication uh, via an online pharmacy to your home or pick it up uh, next to your pharmacy. And this is how the app is looking like. It's available um, on Google or Apple store. Just um, you can download it and you can go through the process and you see different screens like the one where you are taking up the pictures, where you are answering the questionnaire and at last the doctor's letter. In a very easy way we are explaining the disease, we are explaining the treatment and it's available in different languages because it doesn't matter for me if I am treating a patient in Germany or uh, in Spain. So I just need the information and the picture to make the diagnosis of the treatment. So in total, there are so many benefits. It's very easy to use. It's available 24 seven. It's accessible worldwide. And you can see that the patients are very satisfied we are having 4.8 stars and it's not only us who are having so much stars. A lot of healthcare companies are having um, so many satisfied patients because they are so happy that these technologies finally are taking part in their everyday life and also in their healthcare possibilities. And I think it's very important to go out to do a better healthcare system to do more healthcare companies, of course, with a responsibility. And uh, another very important thing, always have a mission. So my personal mission is to make dermatology uh, accessible to every patient in the world. And it's like a mission from my inside. It's like an impact I want to give to the world. In, in healthcare entrepreneurship, it's very difficult sometimes um, because of data protection, because of marketing, because of the channel switch and this is why you have to have a lot of motivation a big mission and the people who will use your products your services will be more happier than if they are buying like a new dress or something else because it's about a private problem and they are not customers they are patients and maybe someday they will become customers but in the present in healthcare entrepreneurship we are still talking about patients. If you're having any questions or if you want to try out the app, it's available here. You can see on the last screen um, that we are having a lot of physicians who are working for us and with us and I'm very happy about that. 
and I hope you've learned a little bit about our mission and about the key points from my perspective about healthcare entrepreneurship. Thank you very much.